What's up everyone, welcome back to Overlanding World. If you clicked on this video, then you're probably a Discovery 2 owner or in the market to buy one. And my first question is why? Do you like stress and headaches added to your life? If you don't, then maybe buy a Toyota, but if you do, then you're in the right place. But in all honesty, you're in luck because these vehicles are incredibly capable for their costs, and with only a few modifications, they can become even better. These are our top five modifications for the Land Rover Discovery 2. First and foremost is the thermostat. Within the first day of owning your Disco 2, please make sure you change your thermostat to a 180 degree unit. These lower temperature thermostats are usually around $70 to $80 and will keep your Disco running cool and smooth. Well, that's what it's meant to do, but as you can see, they will still probably overheat from time to time. We would recommend using a trusted brand such as Atlantic British as they are a trusted supplier for all Land Rover parts. Trust us, you will become very familiar with their website because your Disco will probably always be breaking down. Changing out the thermostat is a pretty easy job that you can do in your driveway. Just be prepared to have some coolant everywhere. The second modification would be removing the rear sway bars. Now on this D2, we still haven't gotten around to removing them, but on Larry, which was our first Land Rover, we had removed the sway bars at the time that we did the lift. And wow, what a difference it really made off-road. It allowed the rear axle to articulate a lot better and made the car much more capable of those challenging obstacles. But before you start grilling us in the comments and saying that removing the rear sway bar is unsafe, let us assure you that you will not likely not have any major negative effects, especially if your truck has a higher spring rate. We towed our D2 many times without the rear sway bar and actually put close to 20,000 miles on it over a year and never experienced any safety concerns regarding handling. I mean, we had other issues such as, such as overheating, misfires, clogged cats, blown head gaskets, so pretty bad stuff, but hey, the handling was never affected, so that's a win. Removing the sway bar is another modification that can be done in your driveway with a simple tool kit. The third modification is a front steel bumper. These cars come stock with plastic bumpers that break and get weathered over time. And it's actually really hard to find a discovery uh, without a crack in the bumper. So this modification will really change the look of the car. We love the Goliath off-road bumpers for how sleek they are. And we're not just saying that because we're featured on the website, but there's also a lot of other options. On this D2, we have the Atlantic British bumper, and this is not sponsored. And we actually were able to pick this one up secondhand from off-road. There is also the massive ARB bumper for our rich viewers, but in our opinion, they're just too bulky. But if you're thinking of adding a winch to the bumper, then we would recommend upgrading the front springs as well. Replacing the front bumper is pretty easy, but you will definitely need a friend to help you align it since the steel replacements are pretty heavy. The fourth modification is the front drive shaft. Due to the heat from the catalytic converter and the steep angle from the car being lifted, the drive shaft can experience a lot of stress. The stock factory units are known to go kaboom while ripping everything in its path. So you could say a goodbye to your exhaust and transmission if the drive shaft ever decides to quit. This is just another reason to do the upgrade and purchase a greasable one from Tom Woods or other trusted uh, manufacturers. These upgrades do not last too long and we actually went through a few drive shafts during our time with the discoveries. We experienced squeaking and vibration at times, even with the greasable one. So just be sure to stay on top of the maintenance with the drive shafts. Replacing a drive shaft is straightforward, and with a few bolts, you'll have the new one installed. I mean, I've never done it, but I've seen David do it like 10 times, and it seems pretty easy. Just be sure that the exhaust is cool before you go under there because you will get burned. The fifth and final modification for your D2 is probably the center locking diff. If you have a 2004 like this one, then you're lucky and can end the video here because your D2 already has it. But if you're not that lucky, then don't worry, we're about to solve that issue too. If you own a D2 from the year 2000 to 2002, then your transfer case already has a center locking diff installed and you'll only need a cable to make it more functional. But if you don't have the cable, that's fine too. You can also install a lever and slide under the car to engage it yourself. This is what we did and it worked just fine. Well, that's also because I was never the one that went under there to engage it, but it seemed to work just fine. But if you have an O3, you're probably confused and saying you'll never be able to have a center locking diff but we have a solution for you too. Instead of purchasing an entire transfer case with the center locking diff, you only need the front housing from the transfer case. This is a way better option than swapping the entire transfer case itself. Doing this modification may take a little more mechanical skill, but we believe in you guys, you could do it. All right guys, that concludes this video. These are our top five modifications for the Land Rover Discovery 2. We hope you learned a little bit and maybe you have some of these modifications yourself and wanna um, give some advice to people in the comments, that'd be great. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to message us on Instagram at, overland at overlanding underscore world and also leave us a comment down below and we'll see you guys in the next one.